In this video, I'm going to show how to make a paper rocket using the template at tomheck.com. And in this template, you can see here that uh, there's the body of the rocket, which is right here. And your template might look a little different than this. Um, I have three fins here and a nose cone here and directions here. This area right here is for... Uh, to get kids thinking about a dream that they have and they can write this in uh, and this actually won't be uh, seen when they launch the rocket or wrap the uh, rocket around the body uh, up here uh, you're, you you can put a logo here if you'd like or not um, and then in uh, this area that you students can color okay so the first step is going to be uh, to cut off this strip right here. And then uh, this can be set aside temporarily. And uh, the next step is to wrap this um, what's going to be the fuselage around a pipe, a uh, half inch PVC, PVC pipe. These are, uh, this is a piece of pipe, half inch, and uh, what I have learned is that if I simply wrap this pipe, or wrap the uh, cardstock around the pipe, and then go to set the rocket on the launcher, it doesn't work well. I have to increase the diameter of the pipe by putting this aluminum uh, duct tape around it and here's what the uh, aluminum tape looks like and what I usually do is take uh, two strips looks like that and I'll wrap it lengthwise around the pipe to increase the diameter and that's usually enough to if someone wraps their rocket really tight around this pipe it'll still fit on the launcher pipe so that's how I got using these two to get to this. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna get a piece of tape here ready to wrap around my pipe. And you're gonna see on your uh, rocket template that it says wrap this edge first. And again, have students color in this box right here before they uh, go much further. Make it look really nice. Good flying, uh, good looking rockets tend to fly further. Just kidding. Okay, so I'm going to roll this tightly around here. Have my piece of tape ready. So that is the first step. And now I recommend having a bunch of short pieces of tape around, especially if you're doing this with kids, and completing the whole seam, taping up this whole seam right here uh, so that the rocket, none of the air, the compressed air, when it launches, it's, it's pretty forceful and will leak out there. Neatness counts. Okay, the next step is uh, you'll see here it says uh, top of the rocket, and this is the bottom of the rocket where the tail fins will go here, rocket fins go here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, slide the pipe, the top of the pipe, down a little bit. You can see inside here, about even with this line. And then I'm going to just try to feel where that is. Then I'm going to take my thumb and push that in and do this a couple times until you get 
the top of the rocket that looks like that. Then we're going to take tape and put the tape over top of here. When this rocket launches, if you don't tape this up here, it's just going to blow the top uh, open. Now, if there was one place to use more heavy duty tape, it would be across the top here. Uh, so you might want to use packaging tape or duct tape or uh, or at least uh, put several layers of this tape on in different directions so you get you get a rocket fuselage that looks like this now some people when they're building it I have discovered think that this uh, PVC pipe is actually going to go up with the rocket of course it doesn't we're going to slide this out uh, when we're ready but uh, this is also the place, this is also the time, if you really want to build a heavy duty rocket, then uh, you can use some packaging tape uh, to put on the outside of your rocket body. And the reason you'd want to do that is it makes your rockets last a long time. They're more resistant to water, uh, to water or dew, to any dampness. So I'll, I would just cover the whole uh, outside of the rocket in this packaging tape. And it will now this is not necessary you don't have to do this part it's just if you want a rocket to last longer okay just thought I'd show you that uh, now we got to uh, move on to the tail fins and then the nose cone so here in the uh, the directions you'll see that there's uh, what I call uh, putting the fins on in a rotary fashion versus perpendicular let me show you what I mean by that I'm going to cut off the, uh, or cut out the tail fins. Okay. Here's my first tail fin, and you'll notice that if I rotate this, that I've divided the uh, uh, rocket fuselage into thirds, and I can start by putting one tail fin right here. And I'm actually going to, I can use this line here to make my tail fin go straight. And I'm going to tape, tape this down like this. Now let me show you what that looks like. It's kind of hard to see. But I'm not, I'm not taping my tail fins on like this. They're not sticking out. They're actually in a rotary fashion. <clears throat> Let me get the next one on. You'll be able to see a little bit better. And my third tail fin. And the reason I'm putting it on in a rotary fashion is because I found that this is the easiest way to put tail fins on. And it's easiest and fastest. As uh, I tend to do a rocket workshop with a lot of kids. And this is the way to get, the, get these on the fastest with the least amount of tape and... Uh, the most stable rocket fin. So I'm going to pull the PVC pipe out and you can see that these are in a rotary fashion. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put tape all the way down the edge
So now, because of the way I taped this, the uh, rocket pins are actually resisting coming out to be perpendicular. And I can even reinforce it some more by taking tape and taping that on like that. Good tail fins, sturdy tail fins, make your rocket fly further and higher. Okay, so this is our rocket so far. Now this will fly really well right now. It doesn't need a nose cone. And in fact, when I do this activity with kids, I tend not to put the nose cone on until after we're actually done launching rockets because the rocket nose cone, as it is right now, is not very strong and it will get crushed. And a lot of kids just don't like to see their nose cone damaged so much. So let's put the nose cone on. Now, um, to get the nose cone ready, I'm going to follow this dotted line and fold it. And then unfold it. Fold the next one and unfold it, fold the next one, and fold it. And what this does is it creates sort of an articulated nose cone. So here's what it looks like. And you're gonna notice that when I tape it, I'm not gonna tape it like this, I'm gonna actually overlap and tape like that. So there's two overlapped pieces right here. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna tape this along the seam. This is not gonna have any air pressure, so it's not gonna be damaged by the air pressure during launch. But when the rocket hits the ground it will essentially be destroyed and it only takes a couple times of landing on a surface like that so uh, when you put this nose cone on what kids want to do is really shove this on but it really just fits on like this And it's not uncommon to see crooked nose cones with kids. So even now I'm trying to make sure that my nose cone is on fairly straight. Okay, here is my rocket. You can see the tail fins nice and stable. If you really wanted to um, make tough tail fins, you would uh, cover your tail fins in packaging tape and then tape your, uh, no, your tail fins on. The tail fins take a beating uh, the nose cone, when, when this rocket lands, it will land on its nose and it will uh, get destroyed fairly quickly. Um, so, but it, this particular rocket, it still flies really well without a nose cone. Okay, that's making the rocket, the paper rocket, using the new template.